Bienvenidos a Film de Semana. Iniciamos este listado de recomendados con la película que demostró que todos tenemos un superpoder. Se trata de Shazam, la furia de los dioses. En el 2019, la película cautivó corazones de grandes y pequeños, siendo la producción de superhéroes más honesta, real y divertida. Esta vez continúa la historia de Billy Batson y su familia de superhéroes adolescentes al ser confrontados con una triple amenaza que desea retirar los poderes concedidos por los dioses y que se activan al recitar la palabra mágica Shazam. Conversamos con Zachary Levi, su protagonista, quien nos reveló todos los detalles y la gran lección para la audiencia y su vida. I feel like a fraud. Hoy tengo el gran placer de conversar con Zachary Levi, protagonista de la nueva película Shazam, la furia de los dioses que llega esta semana a cines. Zachary, thank you so much for having me and how are you? Yes, thank you so much. Pleasure to meet you. I'm well. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Let me start by saying how much I love the movie. Hey! Actually, this is so <laughs> hilarious. It's so fun. Uh, it's amazing and congratulations for your role. Thank you, thank you. I'm really curious, actually. We can imagine how is the physical preparation to be a superhero, but how is getting the teenager, in this case, under the superhero's cape? I mean, that's easier than the physical preparation. I mean, yeah. the physical preparation is great because I get paid to go work out and mm -hmm. you know be, be strong and healthy. But uh, getting in the mind of a teenager is very easy. Well, not very easy, but it, it's reasonably easy for me because I'm still a kid inside. <laughs> I love fun so much. I am an actor. I, I am part of my job is imagining, you know, being being imaginative and using my imagination and having wonder. I have wonder about the world. I'm very, you know, all curious and all that stuff. So I just tap into that and then try to bring that to life and, you know, make it as believable as possible. And what about the challenges? Well, that's all the challenge. That's mm -hmm. all, you know, it's the stuff that, for example, What is a 17-year-old? I like I can I can I remember what I was like at 17. I hope I'm not acting like yep. him anymore. <laughs> um, but the way I acted at 17 is very different than what a 17-year-old acts like right now. So that's mm -hmm. the more of the challenge. Like, well, how do I upgrade that, update that, you know? How do 17-year-olds walk and talk and act and think right now? Yeah. Let's talk about the lessons, no? Uh, for me, Chasan represents the real inner child in the fantastic world. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest lesson for you? Ooh, I mean, you know, family is your is your original tribe. Family is so important. It's, it is it is your your primal community, and sometimes we're not you know born into that. That's something that we are chosen. Uh, we we choose and we are chosen by. Uh, and that's a really beautiful thing and worth fighting and sacrificing for. Um, so that's one of the biggest themes I kind of resonate with and, and also that we're all worthy. Ultimately, we are all worthy of living the life that, that chose us. Yeah, you know? yeah. How did you approach uh, balancing the dramatic and the comedy elements in the film? I mean, I just tried to, <laughs> I just try. when I'm on screen, most of the time, it's it tends to be more comic, mm -hmm. um, because again, it's the kid and the adult <laughs> body, so they're, we're kind of running on what the, the silliness is of that. Uh, I, I honestly wish I, I could have done um, even more drama stuff, you know, um, but I love the comedy that I get to do, and I love the moments that are more grounded and more serious. Um, it's a fun balance, it's a fun challenge. Recently, you shared a lot of details about your personal life. Mm -hmm. So, what do you take from Chasam and Billy, the character, to Sakari in the real life? Mm. I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't know that there's all the things that Billy is struggling with uh, in his imposter syndrome and feeling, <laughs> and, and, and also like in his um, fear of abandonment and all that. I mean, I, I've, I've experienced all those things. I tap into all of those things. They're not new things for me. I, so I don't know that I'm taking anything new from the character, um, but I, I'm inspired by the character because I'm inspired by the story and I'm inspired by, um, again, you know, sacrifice, like to make the world a better place, to care, uh -huh. like that stuff inspires me. Yeah. Zagari, thank you so much for your time thank and you congratulations so again. Thank you. <laughs> I just threw a truck at a dragon. I love my life. ¿Alguna vez te han dejado en visto? Pues esto le ha sucedido a Chris Evans en Gaston. Una nueva y emocionante experiencia cinematográfica junto a Ana de Armas como protagonistas de esta película de amor, aventura y misterio. 
Luego de una primera cita, Cole decide mostrar todo su interés hacia Sadie sin obtener respuesta. Impulsado por su familia, decide viajar a Londres para sorprenderla, sin saber que se verá envuelto en secuestros y en la misión más importante de su vida, salvar al mundo. Antes de poder obtener una segunda cita con quien cree que es el amor de su vida, descubrirá que es una agente altamente calificada de la CIA. Esta super comedia de acción y romance está disponible en Apple Plus. No, no, she didn't ghost me. She just doesn't have an international calling plan. Oh, right. Where am I? Oh, God, you, you have the wrong guy? I'm a farmer. Wait, wait. Oh, 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 oh. Can you walk, Cole? CIA. So confused. They kept asking me about the tax man. They asked you about the tax man? They think I am a tax man. You're the tax man. Oh my god. Oh my god. You got me kidnapped and tortured all after one day. <laughs> I saw the rock. You're the one who flew to London. It was a romantic gesture. Get every bounty hunter on the continent. I want her alive. This is bigger than you and me. Did it never occur to you that he could be a foreign asset trying to compromise your mission? Who the hell are you? I'm the boyfriend. Con un gran presupuesto, espionaje internacional y mucha acción llega Zerudo, la tan esperada serie de Amazon Studios y AGVO, la compañía productora de los hermanos Rousseau que llega a Prime en abril. Es protagonizada por Priyanka Chopra y Richard Madden y dirigida por los reconocidos hermanos Rousseau los mismos de Avengers y Greyman. Esta emblemática serie dramática relata la historia de Zerudo, la agencia global independiente de espionaje encargada de mantener la seguridad de todas las personas y que fue destruida por operativos de un poderoso sindicato que manipula el mundo desde las sombras ocho años atrás. Desde entonces, sus dos agentes élite han permanecido ocultos y sin memoria, construyendo nuevas vidas bajo nuevas identidades, sin darse cuenta de su pasado. En la historia se embarcarán en una nueva misión para detener un nuevo orden mundial, mientras luchan con una relación basada en secretos, mentiras y un amor peligroso pero eterno. La historia estará interconectada en idiomas locales de India, Italia y México, y la producción está ambientada en esos tres países. Zero Dull puedes disfrutarla en Prime Video. Now I need your help. What's going on here? It's the only way. He can never find out. You need to remember the past. Sweet dreams of to save the future. Are you ready? You left me a few new toys. Yes, I built them for my favorite spot. Oh. He hated them, and I didn't want them to go to waste. So. Asshole. Ahora ya sabes cuál es el plan perfecto para este fin de semana. Yo soy Luisa Rangel y esto es Film de Semana.